Hey everybody, Blackberry Brad here for BearPro.com and we've done the unboxing for the Blackberry Key One and now it's time for the device overview. Let's check it out. Alright, so here it is, the Blackberry Key One. Uh, at first look, you can tell this is a great looking device. It's a gorgeous device, just laying there. Uh, it's a not too tall of a device, it's about five inches tall uh, weight is about six ounces not a very heavy device not a very heavy device uh, but it does have enough weight to it uh, and what I mean by that it's got a great feel in the hand uh, for this device so if, when you pick it up you don't feel like you're gonna you're gonna drop this device or anything like that uh, if you do drop the device you're gonna feel like it's gonna be protective now a quick tour of the device, you have the 4.5 inch display, it is a 1620 by 1080 IPS LCD display uh, with a four, or 3 to 2 aspect ratio and 443 uh, pixels per inch. Uh, it is a really really great looking display to it, a very bright display, uh, especially outdoors you won't have any problems with using this device outdoors, really really bright, uh, gorgeous looking display to it. Uh, on the front you also have the keyboard that uh, is a capacitive touch keyboard as well just like the BlackBerry Passport and the Priv so you can use it to navigate throughout the device uh, if you're in a browser or social network application you can scroll through those applications with it as well now also on the keyboard you also have the um, fingerprint sensor right here it is a really Great working uh, fingerprint sensor. Probably the one of the best that I've used on a device to date. I mean, I've used I iPhone's Touch ID. I've used Samsung's fingerprint sensor, and the BlackBerry Key One fingerprint sensor in that in that uh, space bar there look, works really really well. I have very few uh, failure uh, attempts with the BlackBerry Key One fingerprint sensor, uh, and usually it's it's for things like. It's because of things like uh, my, my fingers wet from washing my hands or something like that. But uh, really, really reliable uh, fingerprint sensor on the BlackBerry Key 1. Also on the front of the device, you have the 8 megapixel camera. On top, you also have the speaker grill, the uh, LED dis uh, light there, notification light. And you also have the proximity sensor uh, in the right-hand corner of the device. Now on the bottom of the device, you have the uh, USB-C uh, charger port also have the uh, speaker grill uh, speakers okay sounding wise it's it's not the best speaker but it gets the job done as far as if you're just trying to listen to music or watch watch a small clip on YouTube or something like that uh, USB-C charger has uh, quick charge 3.0 built into it so it will give you a 50% it'll get your battery up to 50% in about 36 minutes uh, you really won't need that too much because of the amazing battery that we'll go over in a couple of minutes here on the device. Now on the back of the device you have the matte uh, backing here with really great grip to it. Uh, it's definitely a lot better than those glass devices coming out of Samsung or iPhone's uh, aluminum backing there. Doesn't have a, a slip feel to it. Has a really sturdy feel so you're going to have a great grip when you're typing away on your keyboard. You also have the 12 megapixel camera on, on the back with the dual tone flash as far as specs underneath the hood that you can't see uh, there is a the qualcomm snapdragon uh 625 octa-core processor 64-bit adreno 506 uh and a 3505 milliamp battery uh, on this device which is a phenomenal battery just kind of give you the idea of the battery life i mean this device has been on off the charger all day I'll go into the battery settings here. As you can see, my device is at 37%. Oh. Let's see if we get that to focus there. Get to a... Again, there you go. As you can see, it's in at 37% battery life. I have about eight hours left to go with this device uh it's been off the charger for about 14 minutes so phenomenal battery life on the blackberry key one uh it's, it's definitely if you're a heavy user you should get a full day out of it if you're if you're a light user uh you'll get two days out of it no no problems if you're a medium user maybe a day and a half of battery usage out of this blackberry uh, out of the blackberry key one 
Now on the right hand side of the device you all you have the uh, SD card slash SIM, SIM card tray right there. You also have the volume up and down key. Now if you notice uh, on the volume up and down key on the key one it has one less button in between uh, compared to the BlackBerry Priv. The Priv and other devices before it had the mute key in the middle of the uh, volume up and down button, but the key one volume doesn't have that. Uh, below it, you have the convenience key, which you can program it to any application on the device. Uh, also acts as a mute button when in your inside of a phone call, uh, which is great. So instead of being in between the volume up and down button, it is below it, which to me works fine as well. Just really no complaints for that button placement there uh, on the top of the device you have the uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone port also have a noise cancellation microphone up top as well and on the right hand or I'm sorry on the left hand side you have the power button now some reviewers uh, of the BlackBerry key one have kind of noted that that is a very odd power button placement uh, I have to beg to differ because of the fact that that is actually where the BlackBerry Priv's power button was and I've never I haven't had any issues using the power on either device uh, as far as there as far as it being on the left hand side now as far as operating system go this is running Android 7.1 Nougat uh, to me it's really really great operating system uh, one thing with the the BlackBerry key one is a lot of people have kind of given a gripe about the 625 processor but with this device and Android 7.1 BlackBerry and, and TCL have really optimized this device to give you one great battery life on, on the device and also give you really, really great performance uh, now it's not the greatest performance definitely not the greatest processor but you can have a good amount of applications on this device running at the same time and really not have any issues with that uh, for instance if I go ahead and just start open up applications on the device workspace Netflix Pokemon Go We'll get um, Clash of Clans going here. Really not slowing down on the on this device. I mean, it has a little hiccups, but you can see I have a good amount of applications running in the background, and really not seeing any type of slowdowns for it. Now it's not like the Priv. The Priv had that 808 processor where if you got to a certain amount of applications running on it, it would slow down and and potentially heat up the device and overheat uh, definitely not the case here on the BlackBerry key one now one thing that everybody's con kind of concerned about how is this as far as the entertainment device uh, as far as the entertainment device it is fine it's just fine enough you have to realize this device is not a entertainment first device it's a productivity device first uh, entertainment second uh, so for instance uh, one thing you have to kind of keep in mind these 1620 by 1080 display now with that 1620 by 1080 display it kind of gives you kind of a limitation as far as entertainment goes for instance if you're watching a netflix video or a youtube video you will notice uh some a little bit of uh, boxing going uh with the the actual video of the of what you're watching so if i, if I for instance if i pull up a episode of house of cards uh if you're a house of cards fan there's a new season out pull it up and you kind of notice the letterboxing going on around the video. Now, it's still enjoyable, and you can still watch the video with, you know, doing whatever you're doing. But it doesn't give you that full uh, display when you're watching a video. Again, this is a productivity device first, entertainment device second. So you have to keep that in mind when you're purchasing this device or looking at this device. So as far as camera goes on this on the BlackBerry Key One, it's definitely the best camera that I've used on a BlackBerry device to date. Uh, it, with that uh, 12 megapixel camera on the back, really takes great uh, photos. Uh, I'm in a highlight situation with the the lights here for the video, but uh, it takes really great photos in low light situations. We'll go ahead and put some photos up right here, and it really doesn't have the greatest. Uh, features for camera settings uh, if you're a you know advanced photographer uh, you're probably notice some features uh, such as raw image missing uh, but you know it, it it's 
you know, it gives you manual shooting controls, uh, but that's pretty much some of the, the best features that are in the uh, actual settings for the camera. But, you know, it's still doable. You know, it's a fine enough camera to be using uh, on your smartphone. Uh, one of the cool features that you can use with the uh, capacitive keyboard, uh, you can kind of use it to scroll up and throughout your uh, different settings. So if I want to adjust the white balance level, I can do so just by scrolling up and down on the keyboard. device also records video uh, you can record in 1080 and you can also record in 4k uh, the 4k option uh, will reduce your battery life a little bit just because that 4k option uh, it does record 4k in 30 frames per second uh, so keep that in mind you also can drop it down to 24 frames per second as well uh, again 1080 is available to you uh, 720 in 60 frames per second as well uh, so it's a really good camera for video recording as well great for taking photos you also have a slow motion mode that you can utilize as far as the front-facing camera goes it is a 8 megapixel front-facing camera you can't switch it while you're in that mode there we are so that is the front facing camera on the blackberry key one it's a really great camera uh great for taking selfies we'll take one now uh and it is really don't have any issues with the front facing camera there uh, is an option there for you to have the uh a light up lcd so it actually uh, utilize the LCD as a flash uh, if you're in a low light situation uh, so it, it records 1080 videos that's the highest video setting it will go for the front facing camera though it'll record that in 30 frames per second as well and of course you have your settings up here for flash and timers and stuff like that as well so not, not a too bad of an interface as far as the camera goes uh, could be better but uh, I'm sure that's something that BlackBerry and TCL could update with a software update on their device now, as for the keyboard on the BlackBerry Key One, it's definitely a BlackBerry keyboard. It's probably one of the best keyboards I've used on a BlackBerry device. Definitely the best keyboard that's out there right now. It is the only keyboard that is out there right now um, on any other smartphone. And again, the Key One is a device that you're coming to for the keyboard. Uh, it's a great keyboard, as I said. I mean, I can't stress how great this keyboard is. So if we pull up something like Google Keep, it has the same uh, gesture functions as the uh, Priv and the Passport. You do get the capacitive sensor underneath where you can go ahead and just swipe away with different things. If I want to switch back and forth between home screens, I can do so with the uh, keyboard. If I want to go to the app tray, I can scroll through. It really helps you keep your fingers and fingerprints off the, the screen, not making you scroll as much with the the display and it has some great uh shortcut features in it as well so each key all 53 of them can be mapped to a uh, different shortcut and each key can actually be mapped to a long press shortcut and a short press shortcut now keep an eye out for another video from us we'll be doing a little bit more in-depth demonstration of that but another cool feature is the copy and paste functionality that you can do on the blackberry key one i'll do this real quick so you can map the space bar, or I'm sorry, the shift keys on the bottom of the device to be uh, your select. So if I double tap, tap there and hold down on my left shift key, I can highlight the text there. And if I go ahead and hit the right shift key and hit shift C, it's going to copy that text that I just highlighted. Now if I hit control V, it's going to paste what I just highlighted and copied. Great functionality for the BlackBerry Key One keyboard there. All right, there it is, the overview for the BlackBerry Key One. Thank you for watching. As always, make sure you subscribe to the BearReporter.com YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Also, like the video. Uh, you can hit that like button below the video. Definitely helps out the channel a lot. Uh, make sure we get noticed in the intertwines of YouTube uh, and also stay tuned to BarryPro.com for a full written review of the Barry, uh, the BlackBerry Key One. Also stay tuned for the video review of the BlackBerry Key One as well. Till then, BlackBerry Brad, out.